Hello there. Well, it's been quite a long time since I did an unboxing video, so we're going to correct that today because uh, it's a new guitar day and we're going to be unboxing this. So, without more ado, let's find a Stanley knife and get stuck in. We're nearly there. In a box. It's in its own black pochette. <laughs> Protect the case. <laughs> Obviously, I'm going to have to speed this up. Okay, after all that sweat and toil, uh, let's see what we have in the case. As I promised, you can have a look at it first. And we have a beautiful H.S. Anderson Mad Cat. Ooh, I'm going to have a. Oh, oh, oh. I shall now have a, a proper look. What a fabulous instrument. Wow, I can see from here it looks extremely well made. Wow. Yeah. That is a quality job. Made in Japan. But let's take it out and look at the specs and um, I'll give you some close-ups. But unfortunately I can't convey to you the wonderful smell emanating from this case. That's a really nice, that's a, oh, it's a mother of pearl there. That's really nice. So let's take a closer look. Okay, here she is, H.S. Anderson Mad Cat. I have to say that, and I hope it uh, comes over on the video as well, that the, the quality of this guitar, and I've owned a lot of guitars in my time, and the, these are all handmade in, in Japan by the Morudera Guitar Company. Um, and it shows that it's handmade, it's really beautifully made. Beautiful rolled edges to the frets. Let's just see if I can give you a closer look. Top to bottom, H.S. Anderson there in what looks like Mother of Pearl. There are two string retainers there. I must admit I'm not a fan of those. Um, they just need to be kept well lubricated otherwise they can uh, cause 
tuning problems, Goto machine heads, really nice, serial number on the back for all you mad cat spotters out there, skunk stripe down the back. I'll put some of the specs up on the screen to save lecturing you on the, the boring details. I mean, obviously, some of you, I should think, having done the search on Google, are going to know something about what Mad Cat guitars are. But very briefly, the, um, the Moradera Guitar Company that I mentioned just now was founded by a chap called Mr. Toshio Moradera in the early 1960s. And like a lot of Japanese companies, they made uh, American-type guitars, Fender, um, Stratocaster, Tele, Gibson copies, etc., but in 1973, they were quite brave. They launched what they called the H.S. Anderson brand, and they used an anglicised name, presumably because they thought a, a Japanese-type name wouldn't go down well in the market. Japanese guitars perhaps being associated with the budget end of the market. So they came up with the name H.S. Anderson. Um, and there was one of the employees was called Shino Hidesato, which is where the S.H. or H.S., came from, and he designed the Mad Cat. So unlike the straight, straight Fender and Gibson lookalike copies that Japanese guitar makers were making, this was uh, very different. It's a tele-shaped guitar, but it was more like a hard-tailed Strat, as you can see there, with a distinguishing center stripe, front and back, and the uh, very distinctive leopard skin pit guard. That's a cool touch, isn't it? There's the leopard skin there as well. And that's just slightly, can you see that? That's a nice touch. It's slightly chamfered to be straight, which probably avoids bending this slightly when it's screwed in. It, it might be prone to crack, but it's that's neat. I like that. Anyway, 500 of these Guitars were made um, in the 70s and um, included in those 500 apparently was a small batch for the Honer Guitar Company, Honer Music Company, and they sold them badged as Honer. Prince came across one, uh, bought it and used it on countless live performances and recordings. And those original Honer ones, or badged Honer ones, are now collector's items. I should say here and now, you can see the, the neck there. It's a very comfortable neck. That's not thin, it's not thick. It's, it's, uh, it's really, really comfortable, really comfortable. So I'm not a fan of Prince, I have to confess. Um, yeah, he was a great musician, very eccentric. Um, perhaps, um, well, he was a, a loner, so he liked doing everything on his on his own. And I have to say, I found that a lot of the music he produced, it was, um, and it was a heck of a lot of it. Perhaps if he'd have uh, cooperated with with others in the recording studio, they might have edited some of the excesses down and reduced the boredom level of some of his albums. I'm sorry if that offends Prince fans, but there we are. No, we can't take away from him the fact that he was a um, a terrific showman, um, which I think was done to overcome his incredibly acute shyness as an individual. So uh, to cash in on the Prince connection, Honer did release variations on the Mad Cat theme, 
during the next uh, 30 years or so. Um, and the Moradera company started producing the Mad Cats again in 2012 as a, a vintage reissue improving the specification slightly to make um, a better instrument all round, uh, including the pickups, which uh, are made by um, a company in uh, Belgium, I believe, a boutique pickup manufacturer in Belgium. Uh, they are still handmade, as I said, and they only make two to three dozen a month. There's only one dealer in here in the UK, and that's Music Street, which is where I um, up in, near Peterborough, where I actually bought this and had it shipped down to me lovingly, um, as you saw with all those, all the packaging, uh, well protecting such a, a beautiful instrument. Uh, it's excellent. So, how does it uh, how does it play? Well, that sounds really nice, and the after the. True test of a guitar is how it sounds before it's actually plugged in. But that sounds. That's nice. The pickup selector switch. I, th I could have checked, so this might be wrong, in which case I'll put the correct version up on the screen. I think that's both pickups in series, because it's a four. One, two, three. It's a four position switch, so it's um, not like you'd get on a, a Les Paul where there's two pickups. And it's uh, neck, both, bridge. This is um, first position, both pickups in series. Second position is just the neck, that's just the bridge, and that's both pickups in parallel. <laughs> Maybe the other way around with these two. Anyway, I'm very pleased as you can tell, very chuffed. guitar to add to my collection. Very nice indeed. Okay, let's um, have a look what's in the, the case. Some bits and bobs actually. Ooh! I'll just put that away. Talk amongst yourselves. Smoking if you got them. Ah, okay. What have we got here? Oops, Jim. Oh, a Jim Dunlop humidifier. Okay. A little. Oh. Looks like a powder compact, which the ladies have. See that? That's sort of like a solid, like a solid block of. Presumably moisture absorbing material. So I've never seen one of those before. So that's um, humidifier, protects guitars, violins, cellos, and other instruments. Okay. So now you know. That's that. Then there's this which presumably is the truss rod adjuster Allen key. Oops, that one. The, oops, the keys to the SKB case, which is a very nice case. That would be quite expensive to buy on its own. Um, right, we have in this bag Another little Allen key, which will be the Allen key to adjust the um, the bridge saddles, and then we have a set of modern bridge 
saddle. So the ones we've got on the guitar at the moment are the kind of vintage ones that you associate with original strats etc which are like so but then I could swap those out for these here I might do that probably just for the sake of it okay we have finally um, an envelope with ooh, a certificate date September 2019 Mad Cat Vintage Reissue Version 2 serial number 19072 uh, it's now called the Morris Musical Instrument Manufacturing Company handcrafted since 1973 thank you for purchasing signed by the product manager so that's that uh, ooh, what's this I had great service from Sam and his helpers at Music Street they have lots of lovely PRS guitars check them out on Tinterweb and then yeah. ah this must be where they plot the actual readings of the output on the two pickups these heartbreaker pickups that I mentioned made in Belgium and they give you those readings of your particular pickups. That's cool, isn't it? Neck pickup, on eco, DC resistance, 5.71 kilo ohms. Um, bridge pickup, also on eco 2. DC resistance, which I think is the output, isn't it? 6.87. So that's a nice idea. I've not come across that before. Okay, so um, let's um, plug her in and see what she sounds like. Okay, let's hear some sounds. Um, the guitar is just as it came out of the box, except I've swapped the strings, which were tens, for uh, nine gauge, which I use on all my guitars, Ernie Ball's Super Slinkies, and also because of my playing style, which is without a pick, as you might have noticed, in previous videos um, I like to get a bit more volume on the uh, first and second strings so I've done my usual adjustment of the pickup heights so I've put the bass sides down screwed those down a bit and brought the treble sides up apart from that um, this, this is this is it I'm going through um, a Marshall JMP1 which is in the rack there bear in mind like all these demos this is just how this guitar sounds through that amplifier. Um, it can be made to sound a lot different. Well, it can be made to sound a lot different by me changing all the, uh, the settings on, on here. But this is, uh, what it, this is a clean setting and, and it is what it is. Okay, so pick up positions four. We'll go on position one first which is uh, both pickups on and in series, which is um, supposed to be a warmer type tone. So um, see what you think. position which I'm calling position two is just the uh, just the neck pickup
and position three is both pickups on but wired in parallel which means they go to the output jack um, separately series one goes to there and then to the output jack um, and this is supposed to be I suppose a, a less warm sound a stratty sound perhaps It's a nice sound, isn't it? And lastly, position four, which is the bridge pickup on its own. sounds. We'll just try some, see if we can get some crunch tones. Just a slight bit of break up. Position one, both pickups in series, net pickup. Both pickups in parallel.
Stanley Bridge. Love that chord. Sounding good to me. That was both in series. Pickups in parallel. Well, I think I'm going to have a, a lot of fun with this guitar. <laughs> um, thanks for watching and um, a little bit of a, a noodle on While My Guitar Gently Weeps. Um, and that's it. See you again. Bye for now.